we have the current stock market update for Rigetti Computing Incorporated, stock ticker RGTI. Before we begin with today's chart analysis, if you find these educational materials to be helpful, please remember to click the like and subscribe buttons and leave your thoughts below in the comment section so that other traders can find this information more easily on the platform. So what we're looking at here is the two hour price chart, which means that each candle uh, represents a two hour trading period, a little bit of an unconventional time frame. Uh, but as we can see here, the stock is now moving to new uh, record highs. Uh, we can see if we sort of pull out a bit further, uh, you know, we haven't really seen uh, these types of price levels previously. Uh, the stock actually has managed to uh, overcome some fairly significant resistance levels in the process. And uh, we're currently trading at levels that uh, literally have not been seen before, literally uncharted territory. So uh, in some sense, that actually does make the stock much more difficult to trade. Uh, I understand that there's a sort of a lot of hype and enthusiasm that's being centered around this stock right now. Uh, and it's, you know, it's understandable to some extent. Uh, people are, are hearing this phrase now for the first time, possibly quantum computing. Uh, what is this? Is this the future? Maybe uh, maybe GPUs are things of the past. So obviously there are a lot of questions that are centered around the stock at the moment. And it is very clear uh, that we are dealing with a very strong uptrend. Uh, at the very least, you know, you could really refer to this as going parabolic, I suppose you could say. Uh, and, uh, you know, the the movements to the downside, the reversals in the in the negative direction, pullbacks here have been very, fairly minimal. So here we can see, you know, two rough examples here where we did see the stock move from roughly 1950 uh, down to about 1450. So you do see about a, a $5 price movement here, which is, you know, fairly substantial in percentage terms. So uh, not exactly nothing, but they do uh, sort of pale in comparison to the movements in the upward direction. So there are some questions here that do need to be uh, addressed. Uh, previously, we were seeing resistance levels, which came in at 1934. And now this new uh, record high, this closing price, uh, really came in at, we closed right at $20. So that's interesting on its own. Uh, we did close right at that round number and we closed at the highs. So generally speaking, closing at the highs like that is considered to be a bullish signal. And this does suggest that uh, more than likely, I suppose, we're uh, going to be seeing further continuation here uh, as we return uh, to trading tomorrow for the final trading day. However, you know, there are some factors that do need to be noted here. Uh, you know, I really don't recommend uh, people chasing hype stocks in general. And as we can see here, there are some warning signals that do need to be addressed. So uh, first, we will sort of point out the obvious here. Uh, you know, we're definitely seeing an uptrend in share price momentum. I, I suppose that shouldn't be surprising to anybody. Uh, we do see this upward price movement here. Uh, you could have made the argument possibly that there was a breakout here to the downside. However, uh, these forceful movements in the upward direction uh, would be enough to make this area here qualify as a false breakout. So I would say that this momentum reading here is still intact and uh, you would need to see the relative strength index move beyond the midpoint of the histogram here. So move below 50, in other words, uh, in order to break through this momentum reading. But, uh, you know, at the same time, there are some issues that do need to be addressed. So uh, specifically, what I would be pointing out uh, mainly would be the fact that Momentum is, is starting to slow down here. Uh, we are starting to see some evidence uh, that these gains could be vulnerable here somewhat soon. So specifically what I'm pointing to here uh, is this short-term downward slope in the, re in the relative strength index, because as we can see here, uh, you know, this closing price comes in right here on the, on the RSI. Uh, that would be this purple line here. So this is significant because, you know, the stock is making its new record high but the relative strength index isn't even close to its record high, as we can see here. Uh, this is clearly called a bearish divergence, and that is a major warning signal. What that tells us is that, uh, you know, the stock is not really being, you know, these, these lofty elevated levels are not being confirmed by the indicator reading. And what that really tells you is that the stock could be vulnerable to reversals. Uh, now, if there's, you know, the, the hype machine really does sort of win out, and if we do see uh, you know, just continued enthusiasm, especially on social media and things like that. Uh, a lot of FOMO, a lot of people buying in late, uh, a lot of people buying in at the highs and things like that. So, you know, th this is a dangerous trade. It really is in both directions. I mean, you could, you could make the argument that it's time to short sell the stock, uh, but you're also facing a lot of momentum. I mean, you're really sort of standing in front of a freight train uh, where there's just a huge amount of social media presence here. But at the same time, you know, these people that are buying into that hype you know, are probably getting into really elevated levels here. I mean, imagine getting into the stock at, you know, 15, 16 or something like that. Uh, and you, you know, you start to see a reversal in the, into the downside direction. And now quickly, those people are already underwater. 
uh, those people are going to start panicking very quickly. And then the question becomes, uh, you know, do those people bail out of their trade uh, or do they, do they just sort of hold and, you know, hope for the best type of thing? Because there are so many uncertainties here with this stock. I mean, there's really just not much uh, that can be pointed to as far as, you know, obvious fundamentals, you know, traditional fundamentals, price to earnings ratios, price to sales ratios, things like that. And when a stock is trading at record highs like this, there is literally no resistance. This is literally uncharted territory up here. So finding upward projections here can be a bit of a challenge. There are some ways to do that. We will be looking at that uh, in the next price chart, but uh, it, it becomes much more difficult to make projections to the top side when you're trading at record territory like this. So as I said, when you're trading at all-time highs, it can be very difficult to come up with upward price projections because you're literally dealing with uncharted territory. There are no resistance levels out here. There are no exponential moving averages out here. Uh, you know, you're not looking at a Fibonacci retracement. You can look at something like a Fibonacci extension or something like that. Uh, but for me, what I tend to look at during these types of scenarios would be uh, the standard deviation price channel itself because uh, this does give us some sense of where we can start to expect share prices to travel here going forward. And if we're looking at the shorter term time frames here, uh, the 30 minute price chart suggests that the stock can still continue to move higher uh, before we start to reach extreme levels. So specifically, you know, possibly a movement into 22, something along those lines uh, could be seen here relatively soon. You know, easily tomorrow's trading session could produce uh, something like that with a stock that's this volatile. And then if we look at the uh, momentum reading and the moving average convergence divergence, uh, there is still some scope here for some further movements upward. We're starting to move into what would be considered to be overbought territory or overextended territory in the upward direction, uh, but we're not quite there. We can still continue to move higher. And overall, you know, the trading bars here are still green. So this does suggest that there is still positive momentum that is underlying the stock. So to me, you know, that when you couple that with the fact that we also closed at the highs for the day, uh, that does sort of suggest that, you know, more, more likely than not, uh, we would be looking at a positive trading session tomorrow, uh, possibly a movement into uh, 22 looks feasible, uh, at least from a shorter term perspective, uh, because, you know, you haven't really seen much evidence that we're starting to roll over here just yet uh, in the moving averages. We're also not seeing any harmonic patterns start to develop, uh, which is a bit strange given the size of these recent price moves. Normally, you would start to see some harmonic patterns in situations like this, but we're just not seeing that at the moment. So uh, the stars are not aligning uh, cor correctly in that in that way at the moment. So uh, there is one negative factor that should be pointed out here because as we can see, there is a bearish divergence that is starting to develop on this time frame. So that is sort of one negative signal that is starting to emerge here. And that does really work in line with that uh, relative strength index reading. What we're looking at here is the stochastic indicator. Uh, but in the first part of the video, we did see a, a bearish divergence as well uh, in the relative strength index reading. So those two factors do sort of align with one another. So these two factors here, these two indicator readings are, are pointing in the negative direction. And then uh, the other, I would say pretty much every other uh, aspect of this chart is sort of pointing in the positive direction. So, uh, you know, it's not 100% uh, likely that we do see uh, share prices movement tomorrow, but I would say it's more more likely than not uh, that, th that the Friday's trading session does actually produce more gains, uh, which might be very difficult to believe given the fact that the stock uh, gained more than 30% today in one day. That's a monstrous price move. So uh, be very careful here with the, with this stock. There's a lot of volatility here, a lot of potential for two two way price movement, and this is a highly speculative trade at this point. So uh, do not trade with money that you're not uh, willing to lose because that that could that could occur in both directions. So here's the current market update for Rigetti uh, Computing Incorporated stock ticker RGTI. Our high value trading strategies membership is currently available for a limited time for only $9.99 per month. These high conviction investment strategies are characterized by superior risk to reward metrics that target massive market beating returns over time. Join now to outperform the market. Lock in this special introductory rate of just $9.99 per month for the entire lifetime of your membership and start trading stocks with the pros.